Hey guys, Richard Blaine here. Thanks for stopping by my easy cooking channel tonight. You know, a couple of weeks ago, I was surfing through YouTube keeping up with my subs because I actually enjoy keeping up with my subs. And I ran across a dish by a girl named Saveda Lee. I call her Savvy. She has a channel called Eat Now, Cry Later. And she was making a Vietnamese dish called Tet Co Tao or Tet Co Co, which is the pork stew that is cooked and served during the Lunar New Year in Vietnam. This year, the Lunar New Year in Vietnam is the year of the dragon. So I want to wish everybody Happy New Year and Happy Year of the Dragon. And I saw her make this dish and I was like, oh. I've been making Southeast Asian dishes for many, many, many years. And I never even heard of this one. Okay, It's so simple, so easy, so delicious, and I'd never seen it. So I got in touch with her and said, Savvy, do you mind if I make your Tek Ko Tao dish on my channel? You know, I'll do a shout out and all that kind of stuff. She was like, yeah, man, go for it. This dish is the simplest Vietnamese dish I've ever seen. But on the other side of that, this dish embodies Vietnamese comfort food. And as far as I'm concerned, embodies Vietnamese soul food. So this week, I'm going to make a slightly different version of Savvy's recipe. I'm just going to add a couple of different things. But basically, this week, I'm going to make my version of Tek Ko Tao or Tek Ko Ka. Okay? So, as usual with YouTube, 15 minutes. Let's get going. And I'll see you on the other side. Okay, guys. Here's my pork. Now, traditionally, Tek Ko Tao or tekoko is made with pork belly. Some people use pork shoulder, some people use pork butt, okay? Some people use blade cut. It's okay, it's all good, but the most flavor shows up when using pork belly. So I'm gonna do the best of both worlds. I have a pound and a half of pork belly, okay? And about a pound and a half of pork shoulder which has just a little bit less fat. And I do this because my five foot three frame just touches 200 pounds and I have a girlish figure that I would like to maintain. So I'm splitting it right down the middle for flavor. So let's add our marinade to this, okay? First thing we're gonna do, two to three scallions. I'm using just the greens. I bruise them up a little bit, okay? Just like Savvy did in her recipe, I'm gonna pour those over, okay? Some garlic. Now, Savvy used garlic powder, and that's okay. Garlic powder will work really well, really pungent, but I'm gonna use some fresh garlic, and I'm gonna use some fresh ginger, okay? I'm gonna use some fresh ginger, there we go. And instead of red onion, I'm gonna use some shallot. Now, I like red onion, but as far as I'm concerned, when it comes to the onion family, the shallot just embodies the flavor of Southeast Asian cooking. Just, just delicious. Now, I'm gonna add a little bit of black pepper. And I'm gonna add just about a teaspoon of red pepper for a little heat. Some brown sugar, okay. You can use white sugar if you want. And I'm gonna add some fish sauce, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do with this marinade is I'm gonna mix this in by hand and get all the pieces of pork that I washed off, okay? I cleaned it and I patted it dry, okay? Which you should do, okay? And I'm gonna mix this into the pork, okay? I'm gonna get all the pieces. About three pounds here, coated with all the ingredients. For God's sakes, it smells good right now. <laughs> if I didn't have to cook it, I'd eat it. All right, so there it is. The pork is thoroughly covered. I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator and let it marinate for a while, and then we're gonna move on to the next step. Okay guys, so I just coated that pork with all the ingredients for my marinade. Now, you can let that sit in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes minimum, 
or 24 hours overnight if you want. Me personally, I've got Amazon Video On Demand, so I'm gonna watch a movie. I'm gonna let that pork marinate for about two hours, and then we're gonna come back and move on to the next step. So chill out, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, the pork has been marinating for about two hours, and right before I put it in this pot, this is the heaviest pot that I've got, because that's what Savvy recommended. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've caramelized some sugar. Now, I've used brown sugar instead of white sugar because I want my sauce to be a little bit darker. So here it is. I've caramelized some brown sugar and it's nice and dark. Okay, it's nice and dark. And what I'm going to do to that is I'm going to add my marinated pork. There we go. <clears throat> All right. Now, I'm going to raise the heat to a medium. And I'm going to stir this pork into that caramelized sugar. Okay. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, looks delicious. Smells delicious. Okay. If you have to raise it on high a little bit just to get it cooking again, do it. That's what I'm doing here. I'm raising my heat up on high. Okay. Just to get this pork to cook with this sugar for about five minutes. And then I'm going to add some other ingredients for the next step. So hold on tight. Okay, guys. So the pork's been cooking in the sugar for about five or six minutes. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is add in some cut up bamboo shoots. Oh. I love bamboo shoots. Okay. I just love bamboo shoots. All right, get that mixed in. Get those bamboo shoots to fall. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah, smelling delicious. Just smelling delicious. Okay, I'm gonna add my fish sauce. All right. Mix that in just by moving this around a little bit. There we go. There we go. Now, I'm going to add one of the major components. Fresh coconut juice. Now, Savvy used the coconut juice from two young coconuts. I didn't have access to the coconuts, but I did find canned organic coconut water and that's what I'm using two cups of canned coconut water organic nothing extra added no sugar no preservatives organic coconut juice okay and to that I'm going to add my hard-boiled eggs okay go get them to fall down to the bottom get them to fall into the liquid there we go okay now to darken the color of this sauce I'm adding just about a teaspoon of thick soy okay thick soy sauce basically soy sauce with molasses goes good with the brown sugar that I've caramelized Okay, I'm mixing this all up together, and now I'm going to add just enough water to cover. There we go, cover. Okay, I might add a little more later on because I can tell with this recipe I'm going to prefer that my broth be a little more soupy than thick because I'm going to serve this on top of noodle instead of on top of rice. So I'm going to bring this to a boil 
and then we're going to move on to the next step. Okay guys, so I got my Tekko Tao or Tekko Ko at a rolling boil and the last thing I'm going to do before I turn it down to a simmer is I'm going to add a star anise. Okay, Star anise is going to give it a little bit of spice. Okay, Star anise is going to give it a little bit of spice. Okay. So here we are at a rolling boil, and I'm going to let this roll for about a minute or two. All right, I can smell that star anise already. Ah, lovely. All right, so here we are. Everything's in there, rolling boil. And I'm going to turn it down to a simmer. And I'm going to simmer this down for about two hours with the lid on, on an angle. And I'll go in there and I'll clean any scum that comes to the surface from the pork every now and again. But right now, simmer for two hours at least, and I'll see you soon. Okay, guys. The liquid's reducing about another five to ten minutes and the hard-boiled eggs will get brown and it'll be time to serve this dish up. So hang on tight. 